Hi, I'm Victoria, and I'm here to show you one of my favorite Android apps, Eldergo Book Reader. And since this is the Android and Me competition, I have brought my Android. And he's going to show you an app he can't live without. So let's get started. When you first load the software, it looks like this. You have your books up top that you've already downloaded and are actively reading. It comes with a couple, I think it comes with The Invisible Man and The Art of War. And then beneath that, you have your bookshelf and where you can download books. Now, Aldico has access to several thousand free books. A lot of them are really old, um, but that's great. I really love, personally, old mystery stories. And if I want to choose from some of those, I can go to Download Books, and say Free Public Domain Books, and then sort maybe by subject. and choose Crime Mystery. And I love this interface because not only do you get a huge selection, you can just say, see what the most popular ones are, and scroll through them, and they still have these really fabulous covers. They actually come with original cover images, so you get these great, especially early pulp mystery covers. They're really fun. And you just select a book and hit download, and it's it's yours. You have it to read on your phone for free for as long as you want. There are a lot of newer books as well that are licensed with Creative Commons licenses, and um, all kinds of other unusual stuff. And they're adding books all the time. So once you've actually downloaded a book, it goes on your bookshelf, and you can browse what you've downloaded. Today I'm going to read The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, which is currently on my bookshelf. I've already downloaded it. I just have to select it, and it loads it up, complete with old style cover. And when you open a page, it's actually styled to look like an old book. And you can simply swipe back and forth to change pages. The beginnings of chapters also have nice style design. And you can also move pages with up and down on the volume rocker. And if you want to change your screen brightness, you can slide up and down the left side of the screen. And you can actually make the screen very bright to where it will blow out my old video camera here. <laughs> um, and if you want to switch to nighttime mode, it's a simple hit menu, and then go to day slash night. And now you have white text on black instead, which is great if you're trying to read in a dark room and not bother somebody who's maybe trying to sleep. It's a great piece of software, and it's just really easy to navigate and then once you're done there you can go back and if you go back here you see your most recent stuff across the top so the next time you load up the software the book you're currently reading tends to be right here it's simple, it's straightforward to use and I read a ton of books on my phone now because of this and best of all it's completely free and you can download it in the Android market. So that's about all you need to know to get free books on your Android phone. So for me, and my little green friend here, happy reading!